You know, uh, there's a new thing right now that they are they're, they're giving up trying to teach kids cursive in schools. That they go, the kids are either going to learn how to print or just end up texting people and you really don't need cursive anymore. You know what? I say get rid of it because everyone's handwriting is horrible. Well, when's the last time that you wrote a letter to anyone? I cannot recall. I don't know if I've ever written a letter. <laughs> Dearest mother, <laughs> why would you write a letter when you could fucking call them on the phone? I don't know if I've ever sat down and wrote a letter. What about a card, like a birthday card? I mean, I, I I've write signed a, a card. See, I write a nice long message in that birthday card. Yeah, I write a nice long message, too. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I always have keep on You write on that rocking. to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I write, you're the best. That's my thing. Oh. You're the best. It feels good. Yeah. One time I wrote, I know I didn't want to get you, so here's some money. <laughs> and sometimes I'll just write it on the money. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> it works, I mean. Um, With the cursive, you know what? I can understand getting rid of that. Everyone has horrible penmanship. Work on some spelling, though. If you're going to take away cursive time, put Why? spelling in. You got to spell check. People spelling All you gotta is do awful. Is spell check everything now. There's no reason to worry about it anymore. You just constantly spell check. We have machines to do our thin and fours, Bubba Louie. We are fine. All we need to do is lay back and let Wally take care of everything. <laughs> Wally's going to uh, clean up the entire uh, world for us, one little piece at a time. Look I love these topics because we can go so deep into them. All right, it's the Ron and Fez Show, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, here's, uh, Steven, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, the, uh, cursive thing, to me, seems a lot like, uh, calligraphy. Everybody used to write letters in calligraphy. Now yeah. Nobody knows what it is. We it's like, uh, at one point, people panicked because we were getting rid of the feather pen. And, you know what I mean? Like, I won't write unless it's with an ink well. Did that look better? Absolutely. So what? Yeah. We don't care. We move on. Hopefully, we'll just go back to grunting. <laughs> That's where I wanted to get. Just, <clears throat> <clears throat> I like the cursive because it's fun. Like the the B, the R. Mm -hmm. You know, let's not forget, cursive is a time saver. Okay, that's why cursive. Not was if implemented. you're reading. But cursive was implemented because you don't want to have to pick your pen up, put it back down, pick it up for the next letter. It's exhausting, it isn't it? And so you you never have to pick it up, put it down. You it's know just what? One little fucking line. Let's let that hundred dollar treadmill fucking get you back into shape before you're worrying about the cursive. <laughs> And then after that, I think you're going to have what you need. Uh, here is uh, Cricket. Cricket, you're on the Run Fest show. Yeah, Ron, going back on that cursive. Uh, here in Texas, my stepkids are still learning how to write cursive. My uh, stepdaughter got in trouble in school. What, what is that? Is that like you're still printing in like second grade yeah. and then by third grade you skip over to cursive? Yeah. Because I yeah. remember that we were getting yelled at like in second grade. Next year it's going to be cursive. <laughs> and then what you're going to do? <laughs> And I'm like, Jesus Christ, this cursive sounds unbelievable, huh? I'll be looking at the kids around us. I might not be able to do this. It's just the way they're going on and on around yeah. cursive, it seems too much. Printing itself has pushed me as far as I can possibly go. And, like, just think of how, what a waste of time that is. They teach you how to make a J for fucking two years, and then they go, throw that J out. <laughs> the J that we uh, test that you want. Remember when you would have test that stupid? Make a letter B. I remember like, <laughs> fuck. That was the worst. Now show me your paper. I really can't. Because one time I think I just drew a B. And I said, that's <laughs> that's as close as I can come to it. I remember I, being panic stricken over the B and the Q. Yeah. Oh, the Q was the worst. Oh. You know what I couldn't wait for is how to put fuck together. <laughs> I was just like, finally. Finally, we got to the use, and I can complete my life's work. <laughs> the capital Q was like a, the letter two. Is how they would teach it. You I were would just making the letter two. Oh, you mean in, in cursive? In cursive, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. I would print the Q and go on from there. Yeah. And I still do that. I don't sit around trying to make a fucking cursive Q like an idiot. <laughs> First of all, people are going to go like this. Two you ween. <laughs> what do you mean, two you ween? Um... Here's uh, Campbell. Campbell, you're on the Run of Fest show. Uh, yeah, I want to ask Dave if he feels important when he looks and sees his name in the phone book. Things are going to start happening to me now. Mm, a little Steve Martin for everybody. <laughs>
By the way, I'm not trying to give anything out, but uh, your good Fez uh, Watley is to your ear. To your ear. I say this. If you're still going to teach cursive in these schools, that's the exact age the drinking age should start. I mean, if you're going to write like an adult, let the kids have a drink. What is the drinking age now? 21? 21. 21 across the board. Seems a little steep. I never understood the premise of you can vote for the president, but you can't pick up a six pack. I think you got to go. Um, that's the same day that happens. Are you an adult or not? I think I would go a little bit higher, actually. Maybe even 25 for the drinking age. 25? So what? You fucking wait until your last day, your master's program, <laughs> before you can have a cocktail? No, 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 no. You should be getting Thank in. you, Loudfield. <laughs> That's fucking E-Rock leading everybody on. Hey, everybody, don't listen to Ron Fez. I'm holding court over here. Let me tell you what Opie's like in his normal life. <laughs> E-Rock and Franklin, because I saw yeah. Franklin chatting the shit out of Indy Mike's here. Oh, is that right? And I'm like, can we keep it down, Will? The, if there's one thing Franklin hates, it's a fucking radio show going on. Chatting and teeing and tea and chat and shit and shut. <laughs> well, I, I, it's, it's a when lot. you're out there and you come to listen to the show and then there's a lot of people talking, you can't hear a thing and it gets It gets you crazy. Yeah. You come to hear Ron and Fest. I think 16 should be the the fucking drinking limit. <laughs> I'm serious. You 16. get your you get your permit at 16. If you yeah. can be, get behind the automobile with your dad, you should be drunk. You should be, <laughs> <laughs> But you should at least have your your dad can watch you drink. Like what what is your deal with 25? I mean, it's uh, I mean, 25 some, a lot of 25 year olds don't even be able, seem to be able to maintain with the drinking. What are you talking about maintain? Have you ever maintained when drinking? <laughs> I've never seen it. No. Well, you, I, I've hung around with a lot of younger people that we didn't have to go, should we call an EMT <laughs> the way we do every time you're having a buzz? Most people don't maintain, probably. You can't take By out most them. people, you mean you and, and fucking Fez Pepper. And Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the people on the show. And apparently Mooch. Uh, here is, oh, it's Marianne. Marianne, Hello, how's the hi. professor? I could not disagree more with Fez. I think if you can go get killed for your country when you're 18, go ahead and have a beer. See, I tend to think, I uh, agree with her, that if you can uh, kill somebody for your country, why can't you have a beer? And if not, then let's move the military age up to 21. But let's Thank have you. one straight age across the fucking books here. Right. Dave wants to go... Um, 16. 16. Because you do get your permit, and yeah, everything and can be 16. By the way, porn. here's the interesting thing that I found out from Fez. He doesn't think that they're uh, old enough to drink, but he certainly thinks they're old enough to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that is something he has no problems with. Thanks, boys. It's consensual. You, uh, I, I haven't gotten a reason from you yet. Um, I would like to just move everything up. But to... what what is this thing about 25? What happens at 25? I just that think, isn't there at 24. I think maybe it's just a it's a nice mature marker there at age 25. You're at so. It. What do you do? Live at home until you're 25? No, you don't have to live at home until you're 25. Wait, but, so you you can buy a home or you can rent an apartment and be responsible for it, have a credit card, but then you can't have a drink. At this point, we might as well not, not let anybody drink. Let's go back to the old days. Tisk, Nobody tisk. gets a fucking beer in this country. <laughs> can you imagine that announcement? Oh, forget it. All right. In the news today, nobody can get a beer again. How's that forever? You're like, what the fuck just happened when I was sleeping? That'd be the one motivational thing to America could revolt against uh, the here country. Here she is, PAC's own <laughs> HTG, uh, who speaks for what I understand, the common man, don't you? <laughs> Do I? You, you represent the common people, the people like O&A <laughs> and everybody that needs the, your help in, uh, on CNN. I, I don't know. I speak for what, <laughs> whatever I believe. Uh, but I have a question about the drinking thing. What's really the harm in, in young kids drinking? In Europe, they all drink from when they're born, and it's not a big deal, and they maintain just fine as they grow up. Um, I don't know. Like, when you start to drink at age seven, you're not going to a club and partying and, and driving drunk. You're just having a drink with dinner. Yeah. Well, that's... But I want to say this. Why can't you do some blow with dinner? <laughs> and I would normally wait until after the entree. Right. And then a light dessert. 
The Europeans want you to believe that, but I went over to Ireland a few yeah, times, up. and for the big Kerry Cork game, there was this little twelve-year-old. Like, can you please get me a pint? And he was <laughs> hammered. It was like, oh, uh, but when you were twelve, you didn't ask the older people to get you a drink. No, I, I, I used got to, for. Him. I, used to, <laughs> I used to fucking stand out in front of the liquor store when I was a kid and go like this: "Go in for me, go in for me." And some of these guys would be going like this, and I would be a fucking little kid, and they'd go like this. What are you buying for me? So you'd have to go <laughs> fucking six pack over for some of these men, you yeah. know. And then some guys would just be cool and go, "Yeah, I used to." And other people would go, "Fuck you, you little fucking idiot!" I pulled that shit in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Gave it to this black guy. He now I took my money, called the cops. He called the police on me. Well, first of all, you go fucking handing your money over to somebody <laughs> that you fucking. There's certain people you let walk right by you. You can't read it all. Excuse me, Grandma, <laughs> could you help me here? I thought he was trustworthy. Uh, he was Purple. Purple, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Rafi, how you doing? I'm a little upset that HTG shut Fez down with a single question. Oh, I'm sorry. When, when he yelled sorry. back, I don't know. I don't know. I can't yeah. take on the lawyer. I felt wrong. <laughs> Where, why that? Why that cliche? I feel like Chris just let out a cheer somewhere. Why the cheap uh, shot? No, Why? she's too. No, it was a compliment. Right. What was the compliment? That she's so smart. She's so smart. She says, "You're a let's kids drink," and that ended you as the host of the show. <laughs> See, now you know I'm not a bully. <laughs> I just ask a question. And there've been plenty of Europeans, famous ones, Maybe who I'm had alcohol like, problems. First of all, Richard I would have said this. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna let them drink, and then they can march into fucking Poland like the old days. <laughs> I'm done. If you're if you're living in Poland, every time at night you're like this. Did you hear something? <laughs> it sounded like a million jackboots hitting the street at the same exact moment. Um. Uh, hey, uh, purple, you're on Fez. Yeah, I got a question for Fez there. Don't ask him a question. Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, if you got to be 25 to drink, how old do you have to be to join the military and be able to kill someone in war? I would like that to be the same age. Well, you know what? you got to get to them young when you're in the military. Because in the military, you've got to get them to believe. And if you're 17, you will still fall for the gimmick of, we need to take that hill. If you're 30, you're like, well, you take the fucking hill. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm running up that hill. You would never be able to get older guys into the military without them going, do you honestly think that's the hill that we need? <laughs> Out of all the fucking hills, we're going to run up that one right now? Beyond Bullshit. <laughs> this thing's going to be over whether we take that hill or not. We're going to be fine. Uh, so I would like to see the military age start about two or three. I would like to get really small kids in there and raise them like junkyard dogs. Hear that, baby boy, McDonald? No, I wouldn't have your kid in there. Why not? I think he's going to be a little fruity. <laughs> if I had to guess, and that's just based on genetics. I don't see that. If they don't ask him, he should be fine. Uh, here is um, here's Kevin. Kevin, you're on the Run Fest show. Yeah, Ron, I think it's Montana or Wyoming that's trying to lower to 18, and there's a couple of states, can't remember which one, that are trying to make it 18 if you're in the military. They're doing the whole thing. Well, if you can fight for a country, then... We're well, I think if drink. you're in the military, you can you can drink on the base. Maybe that's what it is. Then. But, the, but you know, that's not going to pass. It's not like we can give... It's almost like you're giving out special fucking things to people who are in the military. You know, and I don't mm. think that that's going to be able to be passed. Now, we used to have a, a lot of the 18-year-old drinking age, and then the federal government said, well, if you do that, we stop giving you money for roads. And everybody went, fuck those kids. <laughs> I don't give a shit about them. They can drink out in the field like animals. Because <laughs> that's basically, you're still drinking when you're a kid, but you're just rolling a fucking keg into the woods <laughs> like you're a badger. <laughs> you fucking literally will be... I remember waking up and there'd be like fucking sticks in my hair the next day. It was like fucking briar <laughs> scratches. Like, what the fuck did I do? And then you ended up fucking him outside anyway, like you're a billy goat. <laughs> you just meet some fucking girl wearing hip huggers <laughs> three o'clock in the morning in the middle of a field. You end up fucking on the ground like you never, like you're not even a human being. <laughs> uh, here is, um, here's Alex. Alex, you're on the show. 
Yeah, East Side Dave. Papa Booey, Papa Booey, Papa Booey. Just three? That's the end of it? <laughs> Am I supposed to apologize? <laughs> You just take it. You just <laughs> take it. Been Baba Booied. Producer yeah. from another show. Producer <laughs> from another show. How do you like that? Pepper Hicks. Pepper Hicks. <laughs> Al Dukes. Al Dukes. Hey, if they start Al Dukes in us, seriously, I will dump out of you Al Dukes callers. Um, here is uh, Young Heather. Young Heather, you're on the Run of Face show. Hey, guys. Hey, Dave, I noticed that you want to match the drinking age with the driving age as if these are two compatible activities. No, it's that if you're old enough. What is more dangerous, a kid driving right. a fucking 2,000-pound vehicle or a kid sitting in his fucking basement uh, doing shots? I'll say the automobile. Automobile? automobile? <laughs> See what we did? We did a little throwback. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard right. something I do have a certain expertise in. Ladies and gentlemen, what's that? Youths and drinking? Drinking, driving. <laughs> things like that. 16, yeah. Here's Anthony from the ONA show. How are uh, you, yeah. sir? Hello, yeah. gentlemen. I always thought they should have a, uh, a drunk driving license where you, you take a road test mm -hmm. based on your blood alcohol content and have a rating. Because a lot of times, 0 0.8 or 0 0.08 is, is nothing. Right. Some people can drive fine on that. Some people are obliterated. So what you do is... You uh, and you'd have to pay for this. Oh, there'll be a hefty tax on this one. <laughs> uh, you take your test and you keep drinking. You get your blood alcohol level up and keep going through the test till you can't make it. And then whatever number that is, that's printed on your license. And if you're drinking, you hand uh, the, the cop your license. You're like, well, I'm good for like a point one seven. <laughs> right. And then he's got to let you go. <laughs> I agree. I I I kind of agree there because. Uh, me and my friend Berkey drove from Philly to San Francisco, fucked up the entire trip. <laughs> not a short trip. <laughs> yeah, not a short trip. Five straight fucking days we were annihilated and smoking blonde opiated hash the entire way. <laughs> Through the fucking Rockies and made it. And not once did we either one of us have a bad moment. See? <laughs> so how? why should I be up there against the fucking people who barely drink at all? Yeah, some people are, are just good at it. And yeah, I think the other thing, too, because we have uh, bars open so late, what if there is a, let's say it's just wide open, 3 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing out 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning if you're not fucked up? Stealing? <laughs> what else would you be doing that time of night? You're either fucking delivering the paper uh, going fishing. Going to fucking work for me. Or you fucked up. <laughs> Jesus. What time do you come in here? Uh, pretty early. Yeah. Like yeah. Five minutes to six. Yeah, about that. Don't act like I haven't heard the show prep there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a long trip from Long Island. Yeah, you, you turn on ONA at six o'clock in the morning and you can hear hair drying. <laughs> 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 they have not been up long. <laughs> Although, Ed, do you sometimes think you can make it from the other side? Like maybe the show is the last part of your day? Yeah, I've done that. I've done that where you stay up and then you close out with the show. And then you get home and then that's your night. Call it, wrap it. You know, it's time for dinner. It yeah. seems like it would be a great theory. But does it ever really work? Uh, you'd, you'd really notice at the beginning, you're just full of piss and vinegar. Right. You're ready to go. You're rocking, full of energy. But a uh, eh, couple hours in, you start realizing, oh, I, I stayed yeah. up all night. <laughs> well, the sun's rays do something horrible yeah. to the human condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just cool. will drain you. You'll be getting along. You're going great all night. And as soon as that s sun comes up. You just fucking look and feel like shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Hanging with your friends, you're drinking, laughing your asses off, and the second you look outside and it's that, that eerie blue color starts coming out and you hear... Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> then you feel like a fucking degenerate. Right. Now so, you're an ass. Suddenly there's film all over your body. <laughs> this is the worst fucking feeling you could ever have. You're, you're out on a run, you're all fucking whacked, and you're like, like I gotta get home. And you're driving up... And you see kids at their bus stop, <laughs> and they just look so new and innocent and pure, and you just look like 
aqua lung. You just, ah, how are you kids? You just look like you could be arrested for being alive at the just same for time. for being out, yeah. And you just want to roll your window down. And, Don't follow me. Don't end up like this. Live. Live, children. They, they couldn't. They look like baby deer. Yeah. It's so oh. innocent. And just, you know, the wreckage that is in uh, oh, yeah. on their roadway in the future. I remember one time I was still fucked up at 8 o'clock in the morning. And my it was friends... this today? <laughs> Tell me the truth. No, it was like five years ago. My friend's driving me home, and I noticed that my Lily coach was having Lily practice. So I'm like, oh, my God, it's Coach oh, Bill. Yeah. I had him drive me to practice <laughs> and wanted to be like, you want me to hit some grounders to the kids? And I was drunk, drunk. And he was, it was like that scene from The Apostle where Duvall like, takes the baseball right. bat. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. He's like, Dave, I think you, can, you need to go home. And I should right. probably be calling your parents after this. <laughs> you turned out to be a real disappointment. <laughs> I really believed in you, McDonald. You look for now. I'm, I'm 412. I see yeah. his uh, talk really helped. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're just you're bleeding from fresh ink <laughs> all over the kids. I felt bad. I really did. The next day, I'm like, oh fuck! I went saw my old Lily coach and tried to hit grounders. Oh. I, I will tell you this though, because the drinking and driving is only like from the '80s on that they made a big deal of it. Yeah, and I can remember many times leaving my uncle's house with my fucking dad. Just he'd have the key out so long before oh. he got to the car. And, you know, he would barely get it open. And we would climb into that car with him and just sleep like babies. <laughs> we never for a second doubted that man could get us home. Right. We knew we could. Sometimes we just cl uh, climb up in the back window. Yeah, that's a there good, where it was going. good place for kids. <laughs> I never thought to myself, this guy is too drunk to drive. No. It would be like thinking your dad had a vagina <laughs> and you thought he couldn't get you home. <laughs> Stumbling to the car, yeah, and keys out, <laughs> dropping him a couple of times. We would go on vacations, like oh, it was always like his fishing vacations. We would drive to fucking Canada from our house, and one day, and I would, my feet would be on a cooler the entire way of his fucking Bruce, and he'd be like, "Another soldier coming back," and he'd be like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> Never for a second did we think to ourselves, "Our dad is off the fucking track here." It was his vacation. <laughs> He's having cold ones, and he trusted you to do a little fucking bartending thing. You're reaching in deep. I mean, it just felt like my little arms were just up to the armpit, trying to grab a cold one. <laughs> All cold, so yeah. Dig deep. deep. Get a good one. <laughs> so much fun. You need that opened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You open it up, take a swig, hand sure. it to him. Uh, we used to uh, have to drive in California down the Ortega Highway, which is like uh, if you ever saw that uh, movie Duel with uh, yeah. yeah. Where the truck is chasing yeah, uh, Dennis Weaver, uh, it was that road. It right. was it was just a oh. horrific cliffs and everything. And my father would be in this old '65 Ford pickup truck, hammered, mm -hmm. hammered. And uh, again, like you said, you'd just be like, ah, "This is just what it is, right? <laughs> right? This is every kid does this with their dad." And uh, you made it. Hey, I made it every time. So <laughs> yeah. I guess it was okay. There were a couple of times though, boy. Whew, that edge was like you're like, and, and you, as a little kid, you're leaning your body like you're going to take two tons of truck and working like a skateboard. You hope, yeah. yeah. You just see him, he would have just have that fucking palm all going with all the ashes. He's just fucking driving you. And then at the time, also because it was like the mid '70s, mm. my father decided, you know, he was uh, had to be on the CB radio too, yeah. talking to everybody. And nothing was better than watching him try to n navigate a, a hairpin turn with one <laughs> hand on the mic, one on the wheel, and and the the mic cord from the CB is now winding around <laughs> the steering wheel, and he's still trying to talk, good buddy, and uh, the beer between his legs. And, just a mess. Good buddy. Good buddy. Hey, got your ears on? How the eyes on the road? Looking out for Smokies. Yeah. yeah. All because of that fucking movie. That That's movie came out and everyone in the yep. country became a trucker. Everyone became a trucker. It didn't matter what kind of car you have. Volkswagen Beetle with a CB antenna. Right. Talking about uh, where are the seat covers? Where are some fancy seat covers? How about a beaver report? Ugh. There it is. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> and then you had to, uh, 
got to have those guys. I remember they, they were, uh, hey, you want a linear? We could put a linear in there. If you're next to somebody, you key down, you blows their CB up. The signal is amazing off of it. It's like a radiation that comes off of it. I have to go to Radio Shack and buy that. Then those things, they eventually became t uh, chat rooms and Twitter. Yeah, it's yeah, the that's same a, exact yeah. thing. It's it. So that everything becomes that is supposed to serve a purpose right. that they thought was going to be greater than it yes. becomes. It's like pal talk, you know, was supposed to be. We're going to set up meetings in Japan and right. not have to send our, our employees to meet the clients. They could do it face to face on video conferencing. Oh, Arab Jacker. Great. <laughs> That's something I don't, I don't think they were thinking of. No matter what technology we get to, the masturbators uh, fucking are the ones who go, this is yeah. great. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it... And you know this 3D oh, yeah. and fucking virtual reality is just <laughs> going to become from yeah. better masturbation. That's right. You have to wear glasses while you're doing it. Special glasses. <laughs> That's why I use Pal Talk. Anywho. Is that you, it? You said that yeah. you've uh, you've masturbated to every woman we know. Every single woman. Wow. Who is known with Ron Fez or ONA. I spanked you, all of you. All of you. It's a trick here. <laughs> Don't point. <laughs> I spanked and watched and clicked. Oh, and they have no idea what's going on. Because I don't cam up. I'm smart. It's like a slot machine, too. No, do you, do you, you, you don't know which one you're finishing to. It's like click, 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 <laughs> click. Do you have your own name or do you use Casey's name? I usually go into my wife's name. All right, so... Anytime that Casey's not uh, cammed up, she's masturbating. <laughs> well, do we have some ugly waitresses here today? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thank you, David. Better, better, better leave in a hurry. Yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, why don't you take that with you? Huh? <laughs> you tell Ty Webb I'm gunning for him. He's half as good as he says he is. Gonna have to play me to prove it. <laughs> there he and, goes, and he's gone. No, he won't even take the tip. He's your yeah. sixty-eight cents. Oh, he did it again! Big ones! <laughs> what an ass. ass! The giant Bud Lights. We got Lights. the big one pint bottles of Bud Light. Check What's he quickly. think? Daddy likes a Fody? <laughs> oh, He's got to get his glasses oh. checked. Is Dave allowed to drink on uh, Yeah, of course he can. Okay. You want David, say, uh, this David? Yeah. Oh, boy. You, know, you want, I can't drink alone. You make me feel bad. <laughs> get me to think what the fuck I'm doing over here. Mm. That was, that was it. What was it? You better not. There's not a. There's not one fucking twelve pack of bottled Bud Lights in Manhattan. Not that was cold in that store. That was cold in that, that store. store. See, that's it. That's it. That that there store. There is a store every four feet in right. New York City. I just went to that one store. Why? Exactly. I just went to that. What if they just had room? cold horse piss? I just went to Dwayne Reed and I got something that was cold. You wanted cold, so that's cold. And that's Bud Light. You, didn't you say before you left? Yeah. Didn't you say, remember what I got you that one time? Yeah. And we both laughed? Yeah, because that was warm beer. No, no, no. I mean <laughs> these, the big bottles. That's what I was laughing at. Oh, I thought you were laughing because it was like warm or something. Holy shit. Are, are you the Jewish <laughs> yellow jacket or not? You're supposed to be <laughs> that is the big, yes. big, big, exciting <laughs> superhero. Yeah. yeah. See these that, large... Here, I got you what you didn't want. Yeah, <laughs> this I is got like, you what you didn't want. This is ridiculous because I, I could have gotten so many more bottles and maybe shared them with some people Those out there that maybe wanted them. But now I got, the, like, three big bottles. Those are cold. That will I be warm. I know they're cold. Are they going to fucking stay cold? Look at them. They're quart size. Well, if you drink quickly, they're Joel well, Day, wow. you know. <laughs> Unbelievable, David. I don't know, I you know. fucked up the same thing I twice. Know. It's cold. It's cold and it's It's cold. And if no, I told you I wanted the regular bottles. You didn't say that. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. No. He's a talk back. Yes, he is. Yeah. He you back are. Mr. Ben uh, yeah, yeah, oh, my God. Give him fucking two weeks from me. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to see any of my guys eyeballing me. I'll fucking <laughs> rain on them. I will rain on them. It's like when Mariah Carey comes in. Er Earl doesn't, Earl doesn't even fucking work for me anymore. He called last night to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> just want to know I take full responsibility. David, you just you you fucked this up again. I'm sorry, I didn't know you'd say. No, uh, you did know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, he he, he just will not fucking yeah. fess up. He will not fess up. You did. You did, David. You did screw this up. Oh, Admit it. If I did, I'm sorry. Well, you did. Not if you did. You did. Okay. I'm, I'm holding a hey, goddamn you know something. tankard in my hand. Any more mail comes to this kid's house into the fucking pizza oven, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you got to fucking, seriously, you got to break one of these guys. Yeah. You're too good to your fucking staff. They all think hmm. they're O&A. Everybody whip. on your staff thinks they're O&A. 
I think you're right. I'm fucking draining you guys. Go ahead, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah. Look at me and Pepper. We live in fear. <laughs> oh, oh, they're no, on. Get lost. There he goes. Get lost. Come back with a fucking yeah. bowl of cry soup, you fucking cry baby. That's great. What if uh, fucking Manischewitz was called? He'd be buying that for me, too, yo. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I want to find out who I'm kissing over here. <laughs> Wait, so you're okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely shocked. Let me get a thing to stay here. <laughs> Are you okay with that? <laughs> I'm just saying. He's handsome. <laughs> Make sure I'm not kissing that King Cole over here. I understand what you're saying. It's that people are watching. See, now here's the problem. I got to go home and watch it. <laughs> yeah. Now I got to fucking Again. leave here. I'm going to fucking just go on the break and go home and watch it. <laughs> Karen. Every Friday night. Karen. Oh, does that bring back memories for you, Fuzz? <laughs> The Karen impression. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fezzi's going through a, you know, this is going to surprise you. He's going through a difficult time now. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Now? Yeah. He's dealing with things. Yeah. You'd be shocked. Is it? Is well, it actually, like, you wouldn't be shocked. Oh, no. Is it better <laughs> stuff than before? Is it different than stuff you went through? I think it's better stuff. Oh, okay. That's a good thing, I That's guess. Good. Uh, I mean, I got to go through it, but How I think about it's this? better. He's crying listening to Neil Diamond songs. <laughs> Oof. Hello oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> Has uh, ruptured his spleen. Oh, here it is. Mm. Really, this one kind of gets to you. This one does especially. it really get to you? Yeah, it does. It totally does. It got to me. This Beep. movie was on the other night. Yeah. And the jazz singer. Yeah. See, I watched the first jazz singer. Made me miss Earl. <laughs> Thanks, Ken, for Portland. See, now it would be like, LOL, my friend, LOL, I just texted you to say, LOL. It's a dated song. You look at it that way, it's kind of silly now. Just well, call to say hello. Fuck you, I'm busy. I wouldn't even accept Neil's call at this point. What do you call for? Just to say hello. All right. Later. <laughs> Neil my friend. It. Those were the bottles you wanted. <laughs> just we know why you called. What's wrong, Fizz? It's just that the song starts to get to me. Oh. And I get teary-eyed. Oh. And I didn't, I mean, I wasn't a fan of the song before. It just hit me in the middle of the night oh, the other night. Was like... there no reason? It just... Oh, there's a reason, oh, okay. but this song just made me think of the reason. You, remind... you haven't fessed up with the reason or anything? Fessed up with, <laughs> with it, the reason or anything? It reminds him of a special someone. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Okay, so there was a special someone. This. And is I'm there any tie-in? With... And I'm just... No. no. It's None just this song all of a sudden came just on. Just the lyrics. You thought about it. I think about you night and day. and Oh. The calling, though, has nothing to do with this? No. Nothing. Oh, no. Okay. Not even the hello part. Really. No. <laughs> just thinking about you night and day. Put yeah. it into a fucking tailspin. I think a few songs say I'm thinking about you night and day. <laughs> I think there's like a bad company song that says that, but it's probably not as emotional. I'll avoid it. <laughs> oh. We got to start uh, watching you with songs then. There's a song I definitely don't want you to hear. It's about sticking your dick through a fucking thing in a bathroom. <laughs> Little glory hole. I haven't heard that. Glory hole. It's by Springsteen. <laughs> oh. I did it Hello at the Super Bowl. Again. Hello. I need you so. Hmm. What a That's, droning song. See, I think song he tries to make himself cry. That's, I really do. You? I don't think he, That's another it, line. It's he, good to need you like I do. Why? Or to love you like I do. Oh, disgusting. Hello. <laughs> he goes again. Hello. Hope he's got a lot of minutes left on his phone because this call is, <laughs> is for is nothing. Is the line in there, if I told you how I feel, you'd never stop throwing up because you're straight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that line's in there. No, no, I mean, in real life. <laughs> and is this like just the one or is there another? He's no. slow kind of. I, with, with this particular thing, this is the one song that's done it to me. Yeah, yeah. It's Rain Man. I remember. <laughs> I remember songs though affecting you though. Song. When, when you're a kid, yeah, like being young, like like adolescence, and some bitch fucks you over, and it's like, yeah, man, this song. <laughs> right. It's just saying everything about how I feel <laughs> and how she fucking do. Fucking beat. You get all. Emotional. We used to fuck to Nazareth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you love Shut desert. Yeah, yeah, it it does. does. The song is so true. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts bad. <laughs> I was going to marry her. 
<laughs> no, you yeah. weren't. You're fucking 16, Yeah, douche. you're still living at home. <laughs> yeah, marrying anyone. Yeah. You made it through. Not mm. a tear. Good. Yeah. It's good for you. Got through it. Yeah. You want to hear it again? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> just play it just in his headphones. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> throughout the show. <laughs> <laughs> just play it through the producer callback. <laughs> Uh, uh, just taking a sip off my uh, thing of sake over here. Sure. That I'm <laughs> Jesus, thanks a lot, David. Why don't you guys just leave that in the paper bags? <laughs> yeah, I know. Look like two old blues men. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? No Ripple? No MD-2020? I've never even seen these bottles of, yeah. of, of Bud Light. Like, They're called yeah. Uptowns. <laughs> Uptowns is how the, yeah. <laughs> How far did he go? <laughs> Uptown, they try to get the most beverage for their nickel that they can possibly oh, get. Hell yeah. And they're still not big enough for a 40, but they're not small enough to look like a real beer bottle. No. They're just, they're just big enough to get too fucking warm to finish the, the bottom. Not you. You know, you'll drink. I know what you'll drink. Anything. I like to drink uh, beverages, sure. Yeah. Try to I have a very big thirst in general. I mean, soda pop, mm. Slurpees, milkshakes. All with Alcohol. vodka. In yes. It. Giant Bud yeah. Lights. <laughs> what are you thinking? A couple of shots to go along with that? Oh, I'd love that. Yeah. Mm. So is today the day the Eagle flies? You're allowed Fridays. to do it today? Fridays, yeah. yeah. Fridays is the day you stop becoming a husband and human father. <laughs> and a human being. I leave the planet Earth behind and I run with the wolves. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm staying in. Fuck it. I think I am. I'm just tearing it up tonight. I'm going to go yeah. see Jimmy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then once I'm doing that, I got to I gotta just leave the Escalade uh, in the garage. Oh, so you're staying in town? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to stay in town. You want to leave your keys with us? Is you going to go that far? Nah. When you're like this, here, <laughs> take my keys, my wallet. The parking garage guy's got them. Yeah. So they know. <laughs> And no, Mr. Kumi, right. you cannot have your keys today. Yeah. Unless no, I come back drunk. at noon, don't give these to me. I hear him say, uh, muy baracho. What does that yeah. mean? <laughs> I used to have an uncle. We were talking about the way men used to drink. So they, he would come over on Sundays, and he'd always be wearing the same fucking nice... You know, his suit, his one suit. Every Sunday you'd see him in it, his hair is slicked back. And he would come over and he'd uh, always have a case with him and all. And then as he was sitting there... Totally straight. He would take his pants off so he would not end up burning holes in his nice pants. <laughs> wow. Because he always going to get that fucked up. And he's, you know, talking to my dad. And he's hanging it up on a hanger, standing there with his fucking socks and some gardeners holding them up. And we're like... Oh, he's going to be here for like eight, ten hours then. <laughs> With just burn marks all over his legs. <laughs> yeah, he he's just going to be fucked up burning himself. That's smart, though. Yeah, we, he was brilliant. You know, you, but, <laughs> but you know, he didn't just come up with that one no. day as a preventative thing. Yeah. That yeah. came up after holy, holy uh, pants. Well, <laughs> he, you know, when you're fucking like 48, 50 years old and you're still using the term my good pants, <laughs> you haven't totally fucking joined up with society yet. Yeah. Uh, we got some nice stuff here from Molly's today, too, right? Yeah, Mike brought you um, some, some, of course, Ron Bennington's and a couple of the new stuff. I can't wait to try some of them. Whenever Let's get them out there. Did we, did we ever get the knife back? No, I don't think we need the knife back. These the things are giant. They're like howitzer shells. Security took our knife away. <clears throat> really? Yeah. They Fucking, are really serious, man. Friday security is bizarre. Yeah, Friday's crazy. I saw them going over a fucking uh, flea with a metal detector. Yeah. I would. It's Great. flea. Look at them. They ought to profile a little more. Everyone would get in. <laughs> it's just... First of all, the one reason that you wouldn't be able to get in is if you listen to us. <laughs> it's like uh, the airport, though. They're putting uh, sh their shoes in trays. Yeah. Running through x-ray machines. Yeah. Those little cardboard slippers. <laughs> yeah. Start yeah. Passing want... out. In, the mean, in the meantime, kill me on 6th Avenue. Nobody will care. No. <laughs> now, uh, we tried to get Bobby Flay in here today. You made the call, Fez? Yes, I tried. We're trying to get him a throwdown. What are these new things here? I never saw this before. These, I need Mike to explain because yeah. these are complicated. Uh oh, that looks a little erotic. Uh, yeah, it from does. First, at like first little, glance. Uh, at first glance. This is a chocolate raspberry truffle bomb. You're going to have to say what These are brand new? Speak up. How did these the truffle bombs get past security? They're, they're brand new. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he trouble. had a problem at the airport with that. They asked him what these were, and he said, I'm not allowed to say in the airport what these are. 
Oh, oh because the of the truffle bomb? bomb? You can't say yeah. the word bomb. Truffle yeah. N-words? Yeah. <laughs> you can say that. You can say oh, N-words. Oh, not you can't not say if one's bomb. flying your plane. <laughs> Take a <laughs> lock. <laughs> zip it up. Since when? <laughs> <laughs> You've never run across that? No. Oh, that's a white knuckler for me. <laughs> I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's vanilla cake. Do you know who's in row two? <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry puree. Mm -hmm. Truffle then dipped in chocolate. Truffle I, and dipped in chocolate. We wow. are getting so uptown since this started. You know what? I remember we just had some little cupcakes. We're through the roof now. We're fancy lads. That's yeah, a good one. Yeah, brought um, the Cookie Monster, which is a chocolate chip cupcake, actual mm. chips in the cupcake, and then cookie? there's filling yeah, and cookies on top. It's a little cookie sandwich on top. It's really cute. Fantastic. And then there's an Oreo and what are these? Boston cream. Boston cream. Chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. And a turtle cupcake, which right. is caramel. Uh, Molly's in uh, Chicago, Fez. Uh, MySpace.com backslash Molly's Cupcakes. Taste of everything. In the Lincoln Park area of Chicago. Chicago. Um, here's the scary thing. Since I got involved with them, the cupcakes are so much more consistent than the radio show. Where the radio <laughs> show... Most days embarrasses me. The cupcake always makes me proud. It's got your name on it. I really, yeah. yeah I really feel like maybe I should be doing a show with that baker. <laughs> Any chance we can see that knife again? It's right over here. Uh, it's it's right over there. here. That knife, by the way, is every knife the screaming girl grabs out of the kitchen yeah. when she's going to be yeah. killed by uh, the killer in the movie. No one grabs a steak knife. No, no. That always is that true, big isn't one. It? That really never happens. You never see anybody going, you know what, I have a fishing knife here. This is a great idea. <laughs> you could wield that one a little easier, I think. And then if the bad guy gets it. You can you know, hide it. Which they always do. You always end up getting killed with whatever you grab. So if you're grabbing yeah, that right. big knife, yeah. just know that's what's going to be thrust in your chest yeah, just uh, grab by some the bad pie. guy. Now, yeah. the interesting yeah, thing, grab the rubber knife so you can all chuckle. In history, has anyone actually ever been killed with their own knife? I don't think so. Mm. It's very difficult to get a knife off of somebody that uh, has the weapon. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever heard of that. Um, Commodus in uh, Gladiator. Oh, sure, Gladiator. Well, you know, he's fighting Russell Crowe. He pulls his knife out. Fez, I don't Russell Crowe stabbed him in the what, throat. What's with the new staff? You're not uh, staying on top yeah. of this? I need Earl Beck. Oh, Christ. <laughs> They're <laughs> supposed kidding, to know this. Me. Like a little, uh, like a little pre-show meeting would be nice. <laughs> so uh, th this is the Ron Bennington over here. No, uh, Ron Bennington. Uh, Ron Bennington's here. Save that for last. You know why? Save the very best for last. What if you're not hungry when you get to it? I never thought of that. Mm. Perhaps you should eat the best first. <laughs> I've never had the problem. Eat everything. Well, yeah, you were yeah. a, a, a a OCD play cleaner. Right. Yeah, I gotta make sure a clean plate club. Exactly. And I've never had a doggy bag in my life. No milk for me, thanks. <laughs> He's drinking. Everything. Imagine milk and beer. That's really got to be the all-time worst. Goes well. Especially coming back. In a ball game, Fez does ice cream and beer. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll alternate between like a Carvel, you know, soft serve and then a beer. Just go back and forth. It's come These out the same way. So what <laughs> happened with Bobby Flay? Why wouldn't he have a throwdown against us? Um, I don't, he wrapped up his show on Sirius XM. And uh, the publicist couldn't get him in. How do you wrap up a show? What is that? You're fired? He Let had me. like a five-week show on Sirius oh, XM. wonder what they paid him for that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> $62 million. Come in here and slave every day. For what? The new thing is, I've heard your name somewhere. I'll give you a radio show. <laughs> 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 hey, weren't you in the paper? Why don't you do yeah, a radio you show? It's the Joe the Plumber Show. Yeah. And then they're always like this. Thanks and welcome to our show. <laughs> you're going to hear things here that you're not going to hear anywhere else. Oh, yeah? Shitty radio? Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. Is that cookie dough in the middle of the cookie one? What is this one? Wow. Um, which one is that one? I don't know, but I see like alm almonds or walnuts <laughs> on top. Is that the turtle? the turtle? What's in that? A turtle? Chocolate with, ras chocolate with uh, caramel. Oh, that sounds delicious. You know who was in there the other day? Uh, Elo. Really? Mr. Chicago, yeah. Yeah, now because he's Mr. Chicago, working with uh, Her Majesty. Well, he took her over a couple dozen. Oprah Winfrey, I'm sure. <laughs> That's You notice her weight problem started right when he uh, started his gig right. with her. <laughs> he did. So, he's fattening her up. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> I'm sure he's one of those just kiss-ass suits. You know he is. Oprah, 
You look fantastic. <laughs> Wow. For well. three years, he told us everything was great. <laughs> yeah, right. Fantastic. Right up until he <laughs> jumped out and pulled the chute. <laughs> yeah, he's no, uh, he's no uh, Captain Sully. I'll tell you that. He's every man for himself. <laughs> jump out with a parachute, and you can all fuck yourself. You would. He would have been if Sully would have survived, and they're the only one. Yeah, that would have been Elo. Walks out without a scratch and leaves carnage behind him, and still sells himself as the hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the second time because uh, he was with CBS after you guys got burnt. Oh yeah, and he told us everything's going to go great, and then we hear that he's got a new gig. Yeah, new gig. Yeah, like the stranger you don't want to see walking into town. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> going to be a problem. Hey, uh, here's Joe. Joe, you're on the Ron and Fez show. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you're talking about drinking weird shit with beer. Uh, they have tomato juice. They put that in their beer out here in Utah. Tomato beer. They. Uh, my father used yeah. to drink those in the morning. <laughs> it was like a poor man's bloody mary. <laughs> he would. He would drink. Uh, take a Coors. And uh, pour in a glass and then pour uh, tomato juice in there and have a tomato beer. Hey, Why? 7.38 in the morning. Why not just have the Well, because he was so hungover uh, that he had to, you know. Get a little nutrition. Take the edge off. hair of the dog, as yeah. I used to say. And it's like a breakfast drink, too. Yeah. Isn't that awful that it, that exactly works, the hair of the dog? is how everybody becomes an addict. It really is amazing because uh, you could feel so shitty mm -hmm. from a hangover to the point where you th you're thinking of drinking and you're getting nauseous and your head's pounding. And then this, you start drinking a little, and and, and so fa like that, you're like, did I even feel bad right. for a second? I don't even remember feeling bad. That every drug will do that, and it's like your body betrays you <laughs> because you, yes. after a while, when you're a junkie, you're just trying to get to normal. You don't even want to get high anymore. You just want to get rid of the pain and the shakes. <laughs> so you're like this. Hey, this is great. Are you high? Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> but I'm not crying. I'm not screaming and pulling at my own hair. This is it now. I'm paying huge amounts of, of money to feel the way I used to feel. <laughs> get just to get normal. Yeah. And that fucking creeping feeling and when it's coming on, fuck, is that the worst? I wish it would just hit as a slam rather than slowly start oh, to climb God. up your neck. Oh, my God. Here it comes. Oh. oh, you had it bad, huh? Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, no, gonna 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 get a radio show. Happen. What are you going to do? Fucking stand around in a meeting and cry with other people? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to tell you my experiences. I <laughs> Shut right, up. Right, shut up. Right. Right. Uh, it always uh, always comes down to this at those meetings. Please trust me. None of you guys even know what Coke is. <laughs> <laughs> Miami, that's fucking Coke. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Getting this stuff right <laughs> off the boat, my yeah, friend. You're always hearing people brag about how much I uh, used to drink two bottles of vodka. Shut up, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a pussy. <laughs> when your meetings start, Dave, yeah, you know yet? Oh, gosh, no, I'm not planning to do any meetings anytime soon. Not doing any of the uh, steps? I meet every Friday night at PJ <laughs> Carney's Bar and Grill, baby. Is that where you're going? That's where the I meeting is. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, you just having beers today, though? Um, no, I think uh, they're trying to locate some um, some real booze as well. What happened? I know that all the Christmas. Stuff. I know that Mooch, or I think uh, that Mooch maybe finished the thing. But right. um, Mooch, he finished the liquor, told Fez what he really thinks of him, <laughs> and we never saw him again. It was a great Super Bowl. He's still the best. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> they're sending someone out now. And then we're all gonna get fucked up, baby. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> It's just you, like every other Friday. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, but, listen, you want to come down to Jersey tonight? Me and you. I think I'm staying in town. I'll, I'll toast light you buddies. and everything. But I think, yeah, Bud Light buddies. Big uh, Bud Light. Thank you, David. What a tool. I told him too. Yeah. Because there were people out there, you know, a couple of friends I would have liked to have, uh, you know. Well, you pick and choose who gets a cold one? <sighs> yeah. I play God. <laughs> That's wonderful. You live. You get nothing. Anthony's list. <laughs> oh, like throwing the bread out. There it is. You get the loaf. You he, starve. He would only pick the girls that would read to him. <laughs> I don't know why. By the way, no one's seeing that reader movie, are they? No. There's like 19 sad fucking uh, movies about yeah. the Nazis this year. 
No one goes. No one goes to an Iraq movie. No one goes to a Nazi movie, and they keep rolling them out one after another. I like the Nazi movies. They're fun. Well, these are the the after, but they're emotional uh, yeah, Nazi. The, the I just want to see some go ta 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 ta. Yeah, you know, machine gun tanks, <laughs> all that fun stuff. I don't want to see uh, emotional Nazis. Sure, you like Hitler films except for the last fifteen minutes, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's almost like Goodfellas. As soon as I see the helicopter, oh, the I, I, off, I can't watch anymore. Yeah, exactly. When I'm watching Casino, do I want to see Pesci out in that cornfield? No. no. turn it off. Love my brother. Oh, God. Love my brother. I don't want to see that. Yeah. And anything that involves uh, Da Bunker, uh, no, I don't want to see that da either. <laughs> Not that. I want to see him pinching little little boys' faces, smacking the little cheeks, going, I wish I had a hundred generals like you, and then I turn it off. Maybe he got out of the bunker. You never know. You don't know. You say he was down in South America. I believe that. That's worse than death. <laughs> that must have been so bad for him, though, to have to, because he would have had to have shaved the mustache. Yeah. And just that he had it for so long was synonymous with that mustache, <laughs> knowing that he just gave it up to Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> gave the championship up to Charlie Chaplin. Must have killed him. Maybe he would, like, let it come in for three or four days. <laughs> A little He'd stubble. Like, Seriously, man. Yeah. Don't. don't. Just I can't it. tell you how recognizable you are <laughs> when that comes in. We know what you're doing. Yeah. What? <laughs> Because if he shaved it, he'd been able to get on a Pan Am flight the next fucking day. <laughs> oh, Nobody yeah. would have bothered him. Mm -mm. <laughs> Nothing. This may become the hair back. Yeah, back instead of that <laughs> swooping over the eye, madman speech making yeah. hairdo yeah. he had. Yes, Jeffrey Miller, one flight, please. <laughs> <laughs> to Buenos Aires. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Miller. And he could let it go, grow white, and then he would look like just like Alec Guinness. Hitler. <laughs> Did you ever thought he looked like Alex Guinness? Alex, Guinness? Guinness? Alex Guinness Hitler. Obi Alex Wan. Guinness. <laughs> Alex Guinness, yeah. No. So you think Obi Wan? Clones. I, did, yeah. I, I always thought I Alex Guinness Clone looked Wars? exactly like Hitler without a mustache. These oh, are not right. the Jews you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Just a theory of mine, that's all. Yeah. It's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here is um, here's Troy. Troy, you're on the Run Fest show. Hey. I was just curious with Ant there. I know he's a big avid uh, movie lover and stuff like that. What's your comment about what uh, about them making Friday the remaking Friday the Thirteenth? I mean, come on! Why would they remake a classic like that? Well, well, they've already made nine of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they were, they were, they were, Jason was in space at one point, which was what they did to every cartoon character in the 70s after a while. They just put him in space and thought that was going to, you know, give him another year or so. Come on, Yogi's Ark was pretty good. Yogi's Ark, <laughs> Josie and the Pussycats they in were, outer space. They were looking for the perfect place. <laughs> the perfect place! <laughs> But um, Friday the Thirteenth remake, that's it's fine. We were still, we were talking on uh, the Opie and Anthony show mm -hmm. uh, about uh, that stupid fucking uh, Pink Panther two uh, movie. Uh, mm. it, it yeah. Just you can't remake comedies; they don't remake well. Right. But something like a slasher film, who gives a shit? I loved uh, uh, the Hills Have Eyes, the remake of that one, the uh, Texas Chainsaw remake. That was good. They're fine. I mean, they, they, it's, don't, you don't sit there going, well, that original was a classic. Even The Night of the Living Dead, you watch the original, it's it's great. It's classic. But then you see the one with Ving Rhames in the mall and shit like that. That that one is one of the best zombie movies ever made. <laughs> ever. You so know, remake re the shit out of them. They're remaking Slapshot. Yeah. Yes, they are. Why? There's a, a great movie. Oh, fine. God. People will still watch it. Remaking it. And who are you going to find to play, play the, the part of Paul, Paul, Paul Newman? Well, Paul Newman's Paul Newman. How, how are you going to find an actor like that? I think they're going to give it to Bruce Willis, if I had to guess. <laughs> well, believe it or not, that's not far off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't think he's a little too old for that part at no, this point? No, uh, I, I think he could do it. Paul Newman was at he least, He was supposed what, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess he was 50. supposed to be the old... Uh, right. I, I heard you guys talking the other day about the Hanson brothers and how excited uh, you would have been to... Uh, Met the Hanson brothers. I love the Hanson brothers. Yeah. Why don't they replace the Hanson brothers with Hanson? It's just <laughs> the, the actual Hanson, Hanson, Hanson brothers. Yeah. That'd be uh, adorable. Right. I think Russell Crowe could pull off the Paul Newman role. With an accent? Why? Because yeah, oh, he, he played hockey change. in that other movie? <laughs> well, he's, he's got the hockey background. <laughs> and uh, he's a man's man. Well, Emilio Estevez, because of the Mighty Ducks, wanted to put him in that role. <laughs> First of all, is there any the role? Goalie, Goldberg. <laughs> is there any role we couldn't put Emilio Estevez in? Uh, feel safe? I say no. <laughs> Emilio, we need you, brother. <laughs> I'll be there. Ooh, that good was one. An incredible impression. Thank wow. you. Yeah. 
I'm Emilio Estevez, <laughs> and I can be in any film you want me to be. <laughs> any film at all, Hollywood. Now, did you think Spot he on. was around in 1929? <laughs> That's just the way he, I picture him talking. I'll call this town Hollywood. <laughs> I really don't know much about the guy except for Young Guns 2, actually, now I think yeah. about it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Holy geez. shit. Here we go. There it is. The heavy duty. Jameson. The Looks Jamesons nice. has the right. Take a pull off that like a man, or are you going to just sit and look take at it? Take a <laughs> pull off it like a man. Oh, God. Watch the how tiny, do you, how do you guess the tiny little shots he takes. Just want to say I love Fridays. Tiny little shots. <laughs> All right, now you're trying. <laughs> Holy oh, oh, wow. He can't even get it down. His cheeks he were pumped up. <laughs> wow, that was a <laughs> hell of a swig, man. That was a John Wayne <laughs> swig. Yeah, but John Wayne never made that fucking face. <laughs> no. John Wayne didn't have a puckered vagina for a fucking face. Oh. I'm John Wayne. And wow. I don't mean any film you want me to be, Hollywood. I wish I was turned around and my eyes were shut when he did that. Sure. To see him do it, it kind of ruins it. Yeah. Where, where do you hear his little scene of Emilio Estevez meeting John Wayne? Oh. Good afternoon, John Wayne. Hello, Emilio Estevez. It would go something like this. <laughs> Emilio, loved your work in Young Guns. All right, you're just already fucking hammered. In one second, you're going crazy. I know, I just I like Fridays. <laughs> Woo! Half a gallon of uh, Bud Light, and then uh, head oh. of Jameson. There she is in pain. <laughs> it's Friday. Oh. Keep saying it. It's about to happen. Uh, oh, no, it's, oh, she's not shit. making a face. She does not she, look happy. She is concentrating. She's leaving she's home after <laughs> living with Dave for too many years. <laughs> I think when the I head... loathe Fridays. She <laughs> turn, that, turn that little <laughs> with a frowny oh, guy upside down. With a but, frowny face. How long, it, how, smiling. how long has she been pregnant now? She, The doctor thinks... Uh, She's You're not the father? <laughs> <laughs> think she's further along than we re really thought. So she's five months. The doctor thinks she might be six months now. So the doctor's really fucking with our Hopefully, heads. Hopefully it's some leftover cum from an ex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's it. It just took. I thought we were all in here. We're drinking. Wow. We're having fun. No. Come on. Why is Ronnie B out? The frowny face on her screen is I'm, a sonogram. I'm going to say Ronnie B's out <laughs> because of cum from a You can't do a callback that late. <laughs> the callback has happened immediately. <laughs> Remember that thing we said five minutes ago? <laughs> no! I've got a line about it. When she uh, puts her head down and she puts her, her hand on her yeah. forehead right. and rests it like that, it's not mm. a good sign. That's not like, wow. I'm so happy. No, she was concentrating on the radio program. See, That's that doesn't look happy. That is. looks like a beaten woman. No. She doesn't maybe, look happy. No beaten. Don't do another shot, Dave. She's not, not beaten, beaten physically. Dave, no. I don't mean that. What do you say? Do another <laughs> shot? No, don't. I, I can't don't, hear you. David. These don't. headphones have to be oh, fixed. Oh, no. These headphones. Oh, no. Drinking day with Eastside Dave. You can see the progression. You know what? This has happened before when Anthony comes in. Yeah. And he, he gets Eastside Dave and brings him into the big boy club, and Dave doesn't know how to handle it. I know how to handle it. Remember at NEW when he, you, you showed up for our show halfway through? I did not through? handle that well. <laughs> halfway wow. through. And we had been there like six yeah. days. I, well, that was a total blackout. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. 100%. Jeez. I do remember hanging out with him at PJ Clark's. Oh, so, yeah. You know that every... Uh, that was fun. Mm, very nice. The waitress is I, getting prettier all the time. I can't look that direction anyway. Oh, <laughs> why? You're too upset with them? I can't. I, you know, I've, girls got to stick together and all that. Oh. No. What is... See, guys never feel that need. If anything, we like to shove our friends under the bus. That's why I make Casey's <laughs> picture bigger. So that he's forced to look at it. But you guys cover for each other. A lot of guys will cover for never. each other. I've no? never covered for a guy, no. Really? Mm-hmm. No guy code? No, my guy code would be this. If one of my friend's wives is upset, I go like, why don't you fuck one of his friends? Get in with him. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> like myself. Casey, Somebody maybe close Ronnie by. Joking. <laughs> Ronnie B. You know jokes. What? You know how to get even? Suck my cock. I know how to do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fucking even this thing up once hot. and for all. You got to understand yeah. how <laughs> mad he'd be. Yeah. Like, Believe you want to make me. him mad. No. You will crush him. You don't <laughs> want to make me that mad. <laughs> Or what, David Mac? You'll or I'll have another pull. <laughs> you gonna threaten me? Huh? Casey didn't threaten you. She I just said threatened it. to I suck Ron Bankton off. No, he's oh, he said that. And I didn't say Casey. 
You what know, is it, Fez? You know, Dave, you can make it up to her with a pajama gram for Valentine's uh, Day. Pajama gram. Yeah. From pajamagram.com. It's yeah. the great way to spoil your wife or girlfriend. Yeah, so you know what is the best thing about pajama grams is getting them out of them. You're going to send her a pajama gram, Fezzy, and where? To her work. Now you're thinking, well, shop to carry from, home from work. Yes, past all the other fat cows who got nothing or stupid flowers. That's right. Every pajama gram is delivered in a beautiful hat box that she's going to love, along with a lovely lavender scented sachet, a do not disturb sign, and a gift card. That's all free with your purchase of a pajama gram. A do not disturb sign? That's right. Well, that's cute. That way you can put it outside your own bedroom and it'll be, be like an adorable little night. <laughs> Valentine's Day, it's so romantic. They also have lots of great bath and body products that you can add to your pajama gram to spoil your Valentine even more. That's so fun because then you can make a nice, like, bubbly uh, bathtub and everybody can climb in together. It's so romantic. Mm -hmm. Pajamagram.com. Check them out. Pajamagram is the perfect Valentine's gift. Best of all, she'll think of you every time she puts them on. Overnight and Valentine's Day delivery are guaranteed. It's the gift you're both going to love. Pajamagram.com or call 1-800-GIVE-PJs. That's Pajamagram.com. Tell them Ron and Fez sent you. Does the uh, Do Not Disturb on the back, it should have Please Make Up Room. So when you're done <laughs> fucking her, it's like, here, yeah, now get back to work. <laughs> Wouldn't she rather? Oh, ooh, I got a grimace ooh, out of ooh, HDG. Ooh, a grimace. I hate men. Oh, I hate is, men. Oh, come. Rattle those pots and pans. What the fuck? <laughs> semen. <laughs> he just yelled out semen for no reason. Is there any reason? <laughs> he, he wanted another drink. <laughs> oh, did you say he's a cum drinker? Uh, <laughs> it's the worst thing you can call men. Yeah. Hell the yeah. absolute worst thing. I don't here, think here. it's the worst thing. The worst. Here, here. It's against nature. Oh, it's totally natural. The oh. natural urge. <laughs> well, the Ooh. natural urge to what? <laughs> Puke? That's also a natural urge. I try to fucking dodge it every opportunity I can. Dicks on dicks? Sick. Nothing beats... You know, Dan Danny is uh, king of finding some of the most disturbing shit on the internet. Mm -hmm. He found beard rubbing. Uh, it's something that uh, a gay gentleman right, apparently I, I enjoy doing. There's two men... It's a, a couple of guys, and they made this bed tent, made a little bed tent, oh. uh, and it's it's a shot underneath the uh, little tent. They made it with sheets on the bed, and all they're doing is they're on their knees, uh, kneeling in front of each other, <laughs> and they are both bearded gentlemen, just like a cat would rub against someone's leg, rubbing on each other's faces with the beard <laughs> and slowly caressing each other with their hands, and it is more disturbing than just seeing... Eight-inch cock being shoved <laughs> in another man's asshole. It's more disturbing because they're just being so tender and sensitive about it. This actually, well, they're acting like little kittens together. Yes, this they is are. bordering on animal porn. It really is. Uh, it, it is so disturbing to watch. <laughs> is this on YouTube or? It's, uh, I, I don't know what tube it's on. The yeah, beard uh, channel. One of those tubes. Sheepy wants to know the exact fucking web address <laughs> as quickly as possible. And, Sheepy's been asking And he's about throwing away his razors. Lately, I'm, yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, beard rubbing. Now, uh, Fez, you've got a date with Sheepy Saturday night, right? Yes. Oh. You're going to wax that ass? I don't know what's going to happen. Whatever whatever does happen will just happen naturally. Where are you taking him? Uh, first, I'm taking him to Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go... Con uh, home after you're done? <laughs> the old con hole? <laughs> then it's dinner and then out to some uh, clubs. Mm. Oh, a little clubbing. Yeah, maybe some clubs in Chelsea or the West Village. Nice. And then poppers. <laughs> yes. Aim on my trade and... Quick fucking heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to spill all the surprises. Oh, all righty. <laughs> Then you fucking snowball each other, make it home in time to watch Saturday Night Live. That's great. Sounds like a fun-filled yeah. night. Disgusting. Uh, yeah, he'll be exhausted by the time I'm done. Oh, this see, that's, beard, well, that's uh, a still picture. Yeah, that's the video bearding? does no uh, justice to the video, video that I saw earlier. Just horrific. Uh, I don't think tender. I want to see any of this. No. No. I don't want to give Fez oh, there this it guy is. fucking stroke no, off that in front of that us. Ain't it. Especially now that I shaved. No, it's just some straight guy rubbing his beard. It looks like CT or Jiven. I can't tell who's who. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find it on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Just yeah. put it down, would you, drunkie? I have it Google. Yeah. <laughs> I have it Google. Why don't you um, have another shot of Google? <laughs> Shane, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, buddies? Yeah. 
And guten tag, Anthony. Ah, guten tag. Uh, yeah, uh, back to the movie remakes. Um, apparently, Russell Brand is attached to an Arthur remake. Oh. Mm. I don't know who Russell Brand is. He's that dopey uh, British rocker guy. And you guys had him on your show. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was that in guy. one of those uh, Is he supposed Abigail to be movies. the Arthur character? Oh. Apparently. I mean, why do that? That's just... Don't you like just hate dick. Barry's wife? Oh, the first <laughs> one's so good. The second one was like, even the viewers were just going... You got a problem. You you need help. It's <laughs> you know, not funny anymore. Right. Arthur. You really need some help. The uh, we were in here the other day. Miss Liza Minnelli comes by, and we Stop just it. we uh, we just stood there and did fucking Arthur line story and <laughs> thing. Remember Arthur? Remember you're in that movie? And then she was holding your baby. She held my baby. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. All I could think of Is the whole she time. Fabulous. Was she, she, yeah, she was. Mm. And she just looked like Judy Garland's egg. It's just like <laughs> if Judy Garland laid an egg, it would look exactly like that. She made a face that oh, was look, there's cute. A picture of her. Yeah, there's the picture of her. Oh with, wow! Um, the missing link and a baby. <laughs> That's me, Ron. <laughs> what was Eliza doing uh, up here? Was she over the, that there in the closet? Next to it. Yeah, in Mouse Central. Yeah, why well, they're fucking digging through the trash cans looking for food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking seriously grab food out of the trash cans. Oh, I know. With yeah, hands. I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard all the stories. And then hide it for the mice. I heard the turkey story, too, where one of the guys came in, just grabbed a handful of stuffing yeah. out of the turkey the and walked on by. We've had cake where they dip <laughs> the hands in cake and go. What is this? It just, I, I think he's... Got some kind of silver poisoning. I don't know what exactly it was. Something. Silver poisoning. It was brain. Uh, Jason, you're on a fez. Yeah, what's, good? what's happening, fellas? Uh, I want to know if uh, Dave does great impressions, if he could do that uh, opium impression. Oh, yeah. Dave is now working oh. on his opium impression. Wow, that's a tough one. Oh, it's... 866-WOW-WOW-WOW. What's <laughs> up, everybody? <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. All Anthony, right. what's going on today? Hey, good morning, Hope. How you doing? How was your weekend? <laughs> it went really weird. Really awesome, bro. Yeah? Bro, we got ourselves today a great show. Patrice O'Neill stopping in. Nice. Wow-wow-wow, 866. Fantastic. Coming up, we're going to have the Stone Cold Steve Austin on the show. Ah, from a WWE, yeah. I guess. And other things. Little Jimmy's going to come in here. We're going to talk about farting for a while. We're going to have some CNN audio. Mix with some MSNBC audio. We're going to light Twitchers on fire. We're going to shoot E-Rock in the face. We're going to burn Sandy Cannon alive. And we're going to drop an anvil on the other half of half a hook face. You know what I love? You had a couple drinks and forgot your hook. Yeah, I did, bro. It's the OP and Anthony Show. 866 Wee! <laughs> Tito's! 866 Tito's! That's not, that's wow. Not Spot on. Again. Anthony was outside pumpkin patching today. <laughs> no, that was you, Opie. You don't remember. I, you pumpkin patch. I, I, I saw I you. I went to the Renaissance Fair. You saw me pumpkin patching last night. Yeah, uh, yeah. Opie, Opie put that Jameson down. Don't. Yeah, Opie, I've never seen Opie, Opie really swing the Jameson. Opie, Opie needs his liquor, bro. Opie, please. Opie wants his liquor, bro. Oh, no. You've changed, Opie. Oh, uh, Opie. Drinking like oh, that. Opie. Especially on the job. You're the guy that's got to, you know. Pretty I don't much, know. You're with uh, a lot of people who have called the rudder of the show. <laughs> Don Wickler tries to get on my shit. I'll just throw the fucking foot down. I know throw what to call. Take his, uh, take his Jameson. No, please, him. it's <laughs> Opie Jameson. I really don't like it. It's Friday Don't like night, you when fuck. you drink. Don't like you when you drink. I understand what you're saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. got him with the bro. Coming oh, up, we're going to... You know how much he says bro. Dudes, coming up, we're going to throw David the intern in the oven. <laughs> All, All right. right. Now, look at where you That's had to go. Look That's at where you cheap. went. You went to Hackland. <laughs> coming cheap. up on the show, some more CNN audio. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Little Fox News audio. <laughs> we do have a lot of audio. Also, we got some audio from audio.com. <laughs> <laughs> coming up, bro. 866. Wow. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Wow, what up? <laughs> I would like to play CNN audio that we played on our show and then replay it and comment on. <laughs> comment on the commentary? Right. Let's I don't know do what that. I was thinking there. <laughs> what the, could you stop that? 
What the hell was I talking about? <laughs> Coming up, DVD commentary on the audio from Anthony. Got <laughs> the audio that he just DVD commentary on the scene in audio. 866-BRO-BRO-BRO! Bro-BRO-BRO! It's not the phone number. It's not the phone number. Too many numbers, I think. You can't reach them by calling Bro-BRO-BRO. Bro-BRO-BRO. Making mistakes. That's the phone number, Ron. Hey, we're having a motherfucking Afro show today. All right. Oh, boy. I hope Jim got that down the hall. You know, it's terrestrial radio. You can't curse like that. Club store at and I were picking some blueberries. ha, ha, ha. Hey, listen, coming up, we're going to send Sam out to a leper colony. Hopefully his dick falls off, bro. I'm going to give a shout out to the Philly crew. Drinking last night with the Philly crew. Bro! Well, I'm going to turn this show off. It's not very good today. Oh, it's not a good day. There's a lot coming up. Yeah. Yeah, a whole show. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad up, show. There's a lot coming up, but not much I really want to hear. Coming up, we're going to put some more eggs in Tippy Top. Anthony's going to do a little old Ronald Reagan fucking head. What? Trust me. Well, old Ronald Reagan head? You're going to be hearing some pet dispenser jokes. He's talking about Nancy Reagan. Right. He does it, bro. Marty got a gruff float head. <laughs> also, Mary Canton will be stopping by. Right, wow, that's old, that's old that's school. A, that's a real throwback. Wow, now you're talking a while ago. What was it? Was it Fallout with you and Mario? Uh, <laughs> no, not one of those uh, blowout falls. Just kind of a tapering off right. after we came back after this St. Pat's uh, debacle. You know, not that I think he's into the Catholic Church or anything. Like right. That, well, they if you know what I mean, <laughs> or vice versa. Remember yeah. When, uh, remember when he didn't think Fez was attractive, and that <laughs> set the Oh you, yeah. You asked him about Fezzy and. Uh, no, it wasn't no part he of it. He just no glared, go. really. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was like a sneer and a glare all put together. A fucking bitch. A glare. Right? He's a bitch, a catty he is. bitch. But he's in shape, so. Where'd my you fucking know. music go? All right, you're drinking too much. <laughs> it's just all about Coming you. up, we're going to find out what Derek and Travis do. Yeah, see? You see what I mean about leaving wanting more? You, your thing is to leave them wanting less. It's not good. <laughs> Plus, we're going to be electrocuting Big A and having Nikki Six stopping by. I'm watching raping people, strippers. I'm watching people outside, so going like this. So, Franklin, what's up with you? Oh no, How's they're having conversations. conversations. Bro, yeah, some... it's deep into I see character. Patty outside. <laughs> Patty, what's ha How's your pussy doing? All right, oh. he's not that blood. <laughs> no, he isn't. No. I, I mean, I think yeah, I'm that's you've addressive. been studying the that's character. It. Yeah, he's yeah you really stop have. It. I love Stop, him. Stop, it went wrong. He's my mitten mate, and he's one he's of my best what? friend. Mitten mate. Yeah. I gave him a mitten. He's one of my best friends in the world. It's not a mitten. Uh, there's glove fingers in it. Ron, what? Fez, Opie, Anthony, Pepper Hicks, my top five friends in the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. My top five friends are five guys that n aren't Dave. <laughs> Any five guys that aren't you. That hurts. I'll run outside and grab five right now. It hurts when you say things like that. Well, I'm trying to hurt you. <laughs> Have you seen the... You're succeeding. <laughs> Thank you. Have you seen the smitten? The smitten? Have you What's seen the, the smitten? Oh, yeah, I love the smitten. Perhaps the smitten? Uh, you and the wife can uh, uh, use this in the cold weather. Uh, you get a mitten, mm -hmm. a left and a right hand mitten, mm -hmm. that you and your uh, loved one wear on uh, your, your hands, but then the middle hands that you're holding hands with, two sleeves, two like glove sleeves, oh. so you can hold hands inside the smitten oh wow how I'm... fucking pussy whipped that you can't just not hold hands when you're cold walking down uh, down the street let me just say this <laughs> i'm amazed i'm not doing a live read for one of these fucking <laughs> <active> things <laughs> you're valentine smitten <laughs> if you were born that way smitten. you'd be really upset yeah it's good for conjoined twins i guess connected <laughs> by the hand other than that you just look like a fruit walking down there with the so girl with your smitten. I think you always do with when, when you hold hands. I you prefer, look bad. Yeah, I think I, I prefer when the girl you have your arm extended and the girl grabs like your you're, arm. You're thinking of prom. Yeah, that's I how mean, you go to the prom. No, come on, Clark Gable, all those dudes ball. did that shit. You know, it's old school. It's, it's yeah, everyone Bogart. who's done it is dead. <laughs> right, <laughs> causes cancer. Here oh. comes Ava Gardner <laughs> on the red carpet. Let in. Oh. oh, look, she's got Lassie with her. Everybody's turning out tonight at the Ziegfeld. Who's on her smitten? It's classy. Why, there's Joe Lewis. Hiya, Joe. What about uh, hands in each other's back pockets? Mm. That's cool. That's a little sexual for my tastes. 
Um, How about fingers in each other's asses? Does that work for you at all? It's very sexual in my Just taste. Just walking down the street, two people with their fingers in each other's asses. Oh, God, I love you, honey. The back pocket was a great high school thing. You know, yeah. Mm. The back pocket. Not comfortable. Look, got, her hand, got my hand right on her ass. <laughs> Look at me. I would never do something like that. Mainly because I went to an all boys school. Yeah. Mm. Where you used to have to blow guys in the locker room. <laughs> oh, I was never the one giving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. So Thanks. that makes them gay. You're okay, then. <laughs> Listen, things happen there. I don't want to talk about. <laughs> Fuzzy, you got any more uh, reads? Yes. <laughs> Proflowers.com. They have an exclusive deal where you can pick up one dozen Sweet Expression Roses for only thirty nine ninety nine, and get a second dozen free, plus a free glass vase. This is the way to go with this, Fuzzy. You don't want to be some idiot out there buying pajamas. Women want flowers. That's what they care about this time of year. They want flowers and lots of them. And today's the last day to get in on this offer of the Sweet Expression Roses. One dozen for thirty nine ninety nine, a second dozen free, and the free glass vase. There, there you have it. If you don't call in today, you ruin Valentine's Day. You, now, you got to get Valentine's for your chick. you got to get them for your mother, your aunts, all the women that you know. And you go to proflowers.com, click on the microphone icon in the upper right-hand corner, and then just type in the password Ron and Fez, or you can call 1-800-PRO-Flowers. That's 1-800-PRO-Flowers, and mention Ron and Fez. Mention us? Really? Yes. You give them the password, <laughs> Ron and Fez. That's the big password, Ron and Fez. That's it. At, Ron and Fez sent me. At, sent you. Yeah. At proflowers.com or at 1-800-PRO-Flowers. Right, right Tell them old Bob Lincoln Continental <laughs> Hope sent you. It's like one of those, uh, when are they going to stop with the tell them they sent you? It's the web, for God's sake. Tell them what? I told you to go to the keyboard? You know, when you think of flowers, think of Ron and Fez. As you know, nobody knows or cares about flowers than two idiots doing a midday satellite radio show. Proflowers.com. It's the one dozen sweet expression roses for thirty nine ninety nine. dollars You're back on business. Yep. And you can't be part of all the fooling around. You've got a, you got a product to push, and I admire you for that. Thank you. <laughs> and you get the second dozen free, and remember that also includes the free glass vase. Valentine's Day delivery guaranteed from proflowers.com. Mm. Do it up. Well done. Right, well we done. we got a break here, Fuzzy, and then we'll come back and end it? Yep, let's do that. All right.